Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the gas to your range. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the front orifice holder in a GE range. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a socket wrench with a 5 8 head, a torque 15 screwdriver, putty knife, Phillips screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, and 13 millimeters open-ended wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new front orifice holder. This front orifice holder carries gas from the manifold to the front left burner. The main reason why the front orifice holder would need to be replaced is if it cracks, causing a gas leak. This is a very dangerous situation. You should stop using the burner immediately and remove the valve knob until the problem is fixed. I'm going to start with uh, taking off the uh, burner grates. Then we're going to move the burners and the burn caps. Do the same thing on the opposite side. So now we're going to remove the drip panel. One and another one. So we can get the access to the uh, screws. We're going to start with uh, loosening up that knot around the orifice. I'm going to use a 5 8 uh, socket wrench. Place it on and remember only loosen up, not taking it out. Here we got four spark electrodes that are held in place by the electrode clips from the bottom of the cooktop. So we need to first pull up the electrodes using the putty knife. I'm going to place the putty knife under the electrode and pull it up. And I'm going to just pull it out. And we're going to continue doing that with the, the rest of the spark electrodes. I'm going to pull it up and let it hang for, for now. And the opposite side. So now we're going to disconnect the spark electrode wire from the spark electrode itself. Just uh, pull it apart, you grab it firmly on this wire and pull this off. And the second one, same thing, grab it firmly on that uh, black insulation and pull it apart. And then number three and number four. Don't worry about mixing them around because they're all identical. So now I'm going to remove the 12 screws that hold the top. That's uh, torque 15. And uh, they, some of them may go easily, some of them not, but uh, be careful. Don't break them off. You can spray them with a, like a penetrating oil. In my case, they're nice and clean. So I'm going to one by one. So we need to remove the top. For that purpose, I'm going to use the putty knife. And we're going to open that clips, one on each side, approximately two inches from the corner. Insert it in the seam and push it in. Lift it up, support it. And we go to the opposite side, same two inches from the corner, push it in and lift it up. So now we can pull out the electrode wires. And we're going to remove the cooktop completely. There are two hinges at the back. Lift it off. I'm gonna slide slide the left side first, and then we're gonna 
pull out the right side. Pull off the four mini valve knobs. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws that hold the control panel. Now open the oven door. We're going to remove this uh, quarter-inch screws that holds the panel from the bottom. All right. And now we can pull it off. Close the oven door. Unscrew the mounting nut manually. Lift up the support and pull out the electrode wire. Using the 13 mm wrench, unscrew the mounting nut at the manifold and remove the orifice holder. This is the old front orifice holder next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Bring in the orifice holder, start the nut manually, and then tighten it with a 13 mm wrench. Now we are going to install the support by matching the flat parts on the support and on the holder. Place the support on and install and tighten the mounting nut manually. Then pull the electrode wire through the opening with the clip. Now open the oven door. All right, so that's the time for the front panel. The control panel goes back on. I'm going to match the holes at the bottom. And we're going to install the quarter inch screws. Using the Phillips screwdriver, secure the front of the control panel with two screws. Close the oven door. Match the shape of the valve with the knob's shape and install all four knobs. And now uh, the uh, top goes back in. We're going to insert that the right side hinge into the opening and bring in the left side and slide it into the cutout. Then I'm going to put it on the supports here and use that space to put the spark wires through the holes here. So I'm going to place the uh, rear wires in first. And I'm going to lower the, the, the cooktop and place the front wires in. Then there's two wires goes into the openings here on the side. Those are like two supports. And we can lower that panel, lift up the rear end so it, the hinges will lock in. And then we can just push down on the top to lock the clips. Pull the wires through. So we are going to attach the screws to attach all the burner supports to the cooktop. First, we're obviously going to match the holes and uh, just uh, install the screw one. Then we're going to continue turning that uh, and matching the other holes. All right, and we can tighten them with the Torque 15 screwdriver. Moving to the second burner, align the holes 
and then torque 15 screwdriver we're going to tighten that screws now we're going to connect the electrodes to the wires uh, see the connections the uh, female on the wire goes over that uh, male on the electrode itself so put it inside push it in hard all the way and we go to the second one so we're going to push in the spark electrodes to lock them in and the second one and a couple on the opposite side and now we're going to tighten that knot using that uh, 5 8 wrench it's the time to put the double drip hands back in now we can install back the burners and the, and the burn caps we can do it uh, together or you can do it separately and that uh, the last thing would be putting uh, grates in plug the engine turn the gas on and no more excuses you got to cook now thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com for any of your future appliance repair projects please Check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.